Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to add teardrops or tapered traces inside the Cadence PCB tools. So I've got a couple of examples of this, um, but from a, a teardrop point of view, what you want to do is you want to effectively, you want to try and strengthen um, the pad connection and what um, the teardropping command does is it adds almost like a, a shape-based fillet that goes on, on between the pad and the and the and the sea line and the same with the wire and the sea line. Okay, so that's kind of a, a, a a tape a fillet sorry and then the tapered trace i've got some scenarios where effectively the track is going to neck down as it comes into a bga region um, and again you could get a shape that would effectively just add this kind of shape based fillet on along here called a tapered trace and it would then just taper this this angle can uh, give you a slightly better manufacturing connection uh, and improve impedance so we'll start off if we look at the uh, the root menu we've got teardrop taper traces and we've got um parameters so we get effectively parameters for our fillets and our taper traces and then different options for all our different pad stacks uh, and there's a few settings up here so we'll start off with uh, just just the defaults up here what we'll do is maybe just make a change so I'll make the change let's just drop this down to uh, 60 I'll leave the rest of the settings the same and we'll drop this desired angle down to 50 um, and then we'll label the taper traces and click OK and then it's root teardrop taper trace and then we can add a teardrop or a taper trace so we'll add a teardrop first the options pane we can drive this by symbol by net by pin by via or I can just do a window select I'm just going to leave it as net and we'll pick this net here for the ground and you can see effectively add this copper base fillet on the ground net and it's done it on all instances of the ground net across the design if we do root teardrop and taper trace and we'll this time we'll do add a taper trace and if we just zoom in on here on this net, we'll click on this net, and again, same scenario. This adds that little copper base shape onto the onto the track or the, the or the interface between the two C lines, and allows me to do that. So obviously, doing this manually, I mean, I can do you know window select of nets and, and do it that way. So if I wanted to just do another two, I could just do select the window to these two nets, and it would add the, the taper traces here. But that's quite time consuming. So what we can do is um, we can actually look at there's a root teardrop and taper trace parameters option that allows us obviously we can have them curved but there's an option to allow them to be dynamic so let's just enable the dynamic mode and click OK and then this will then go and add uh, teardrops and taper traces across the whole design on all the different layers and you can see it's obviously added some copper shapes here and here and here the advantage of it being dynamic is if I was to say slide the track so let's just slide the track you can see that the, the, the teardrop will update so let's go and find another example of this we'll just bring the track out and it changes the angle of the teardrop. So um, really, really useful when you're doing this for dynamic. It works on the, the taper trace as well, but really useful if you can make it dynamic to allow you to update uh, your board very, very quickly.